What's happening, guys? It's us. We're back. Actually, I'm always here. It's, I'm back. It's this guy who's back. How does it feel to be back on screen again? Pretty great. What are we doing today? We are going shopping back in Lakeland for more comics. Where? Intergalactic Plastic. Yes, Intergalactic Plastic. Last time we were there, they were in a small shop and now we're making our way back to it. And they have, I guess, a lot more comics this time around. They got some cool other stuff. I know they have gaming tables. So we're gonna go through the long boxes. We're gonna find out what's inside. And uh, obviously before we go inside, we're gonna show you the outside of the shop, see if it still looks cool also. So well, we'll see you in a second. All right, guys, so we're here, Intergalactic Plastic. You can see kind of the background here. And before we go in, Brayden, I just want to let the audience know how you feel about your sister's dance competition. Were you excited to go? I was absolutely not excited to go. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> this is why we're going, so we can have some fun. I guess I just decided to show you their window here, so which is pretty cool. So we're making our way towards the uh, front door. Again, this is like our second appearance coming to this shop. Okay, as you can see, as we walk into the shop, there is a ton of action figures that they have right from the start. You can see that there's these new Marvel Legends, there's these old Marvel Legends. I mean, it's absolutely insane how many action figures and toys that they have in this shop. It's like actually overwhelming, and some of them are like super expensive. You can see them here all in the peg hooks. Hey, Brayden. And yeah, and here in this glass case. Okay, so check out some of these characters here, these Web Force characters. This one's like the lizard on there, and then there's this Spider-Man sneak attack. That was quite interesting. And then you get this Onslaught with Jean Grey. Like, that's a cool card right there. Never seen that before. And that's what's so cool about this shop. They got some off-the-wall stuff here, right? And then you got this Web Swamp Spidey. Like, what the heck is that, dude? I've never seen that before. But yeah, some cool Spider-Man uh, Web Force toys. And check out this Series 1 Marvel Legends Iron Man. That is absolute fire. Okay, so now on to the comics. You can see there's like a steal of comics. Made it very inconvenient for you to look at stuff. Very hard. They don't pull out easy or anything. So I went to this table first to check out to see what comics were in these boxes. One random Amazing Spider-Man in that whole box. So yeah, and I was looking at this stuff and I'm like, eh, it's all right. So let's move on. And then there was this stuff here and I'm like, no. And then they had these sets. These sets were kind of cool. Um, you know, they had that Hawkeye set right here. That was all right. And then they had this Emerald Dawn Green Lantern, but I already have that. So then I started looking in the racks and then my son finds something awesome. Lois and Clark, baby. <laughs> That's hilarious. So yeah, I'm searching and searching. You got some Hellcat here. Torok the Dinosaur Hunter issue one. God dang, out of all the comics, I had to find that one, right? Shadowhawk with Savage Dragon on it. I mean, you can see these particular books were all 50 cent books. I was trying to find anything, but there was just nothing really that caught my eye. So then my son is searching through some boxes and he comes across these old Transformer oversized comics, almost like magazine format. Looked pretty cool. But then when you look at the material, the reading material of it, it was actually very, very thin. It was like two, three pages. Went digging for some keys, could not really find anything that I wanted that was worth it. They did have a Spider-Man 252 first black suit for $125. Looked to be about a mid-grade. I decided to pass on it. Tried to search a cable book, some uncanny X-Men. Just nothing really hit the mark for me today while I was at the shop. All right, so we came, we saw, and we did not kick ass. We actually walked out with absolutely nothing. We spent like an hour in there easily. Almost bought a whole bunch of Marvel team-ups, but it just wasn't worth the money for the condition that they were in. There was a couple graded books, but not that much. Again, mostly a lot of toys and stuff, which is cool, but I decided to save the money and 
you know, save it for somewhere else. So unfortunately, that's that. So anything you gotta say? What do you think of the shop though? I love this shop, but we just didn't get anything. Nothing interesting. Yeah, so you win some, you lose some. So I guess until next time, guys, I'm a little disappointed, but hey, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next, I guess, tour that we go on, which will be Johnny B's comics, right? Yep, that's right. All right, guys, see you soon. See ya.